Hi children, welcome to the fifth section of our maths class. Today, we consider questions in page number 57 and 58. Before solving these problems, we have to understand square root of x into square root of y is equal to square root of x, xy. Square root of x into square root of y is equal to square root of xy. That means root 5 into root 3 is equal to square root of 5 into 3 which is equal to square root of 15. Likewise, square root of 9 into square root of 4 is equal to square root of 9 into 4 which is equal to square root of 36 which is equal to 6 because 36 is a perfect square. Now, read question number 1 in page number 57. Question says, four equilateral triangles cut vertically into halves then put together to make a rectangle and also given that sides of these triangles are one meter we have to find out the area and perimeter of rectangle so formed right let's start one side of the equilateral triangle is equal to one meter in triangle abc AB is equal to AC is equal to 1 meter and BD is equal to DC is equal to half meter. Hence, AD square is equal to AB square minus BD square is equal to 1 square minus half square. That is 1 minus 1 by 4 which is equal to 4 by 4 minus 1 by 4 is equal to 3 by 4. Hence, AD is equal to square root of 3 by 4 is equal to root 3 by root 4 is equal to root 3 by 2 which is equal to half root 3 meter. Therefore, breadth of the rectangle is equal to 1 meter, length of the rectangle is equal to half root 3 plus half root 3 which is, is equal to 1 root 3 meter. Therefore, perimeter of the rectangle is equal to root 3 plus 1 plus root 3 plus 1. That is equal to 2 plus root 3 plus root 3 is equal to 2 plus 2 root 3. Hence, 2 into root 3 plus 1 meter. Common, 2 is considered outside. So, 2 into root 3 plus 1 meter. Hence, area of rectangle is equal to root 3 into 1 is equal to root 3 meter square. Is it clear? Shall we consider question number 2 in this section? What's the question says? Do you read? Here a square and an equilateral triangle cut and the pieces are rearranged to form a trapezium. Isn't it? And remember sides of the triangle is twice that of the square. We have to find out the area and perimeter of the trapezium so formed. Let's start. Here, sides of the squares are 2 cm and diagonal is 2 root 2. And in the triangle, sides are twice of that square, therefore 4 cm and perpendicular height is 2 root 3 cm. So in trapezium, perimeter of, perimeter of the trapezium is equal to 2 plus 2 root 3 plus 2 plus 2 root 2 plus 2 root 3 plus 2 root 2 which is, is equal to 4 plus 4 root 3 plus 4 root 2. When consider common 4 outside, 4 into 1 plus root 2 plus root 3 centimeter, right? Therefore, area of the trapezium is equal to half the sum of the parallel sides into height. That is 2 plus 2 plus 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3 by 2 into 2 which is, is equal to 4 plus 4 root 3 by 2 into 2 that is, is equal to 4 plus 4 root 3 that is equal to 4 into 1 plus root 3 centimeter square. Okay. Let's move to the third question. It says in a triangle two angles are 60 degree and 75 degree and the side included these angles is 4 centimeter. In triangle ABC, draw DC as perpendicular to AB. In triangle BDC, angle D is equal to 90 degree and angle B is equal to 60 degree. Angle BCD is equal to 180 minus 90 plus 60, which is equal to 180 minus 150 is equal to 30 degree. 
angles of triangle BDC are 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. Given that BC is equal to 4 cm, therefore BD is equal to 2 cm and DC is equal to 2 root 3 cm. In triangle DCA, angle D is equal to 90 degree. Hence, angle DCA is equal to 75 minus 30 degree is equal to 45 degree. Therefore, angle A is equal to 180 minus 90 plus 45, hence 180 minus 135 which is equal to 45 degree. Since two angles of triangle DCA are equal, sides opposite to these angles are also equal. Since CD is equal to 2 root 3 cm, AD is equal to 2 root 3 cm. Therefore, AC is equal to 2 root 3 into root 2, which is equal to 2 into root 3 into 2, which is equal to 2 root 6 cm. Hence, perimeter of the triangle is equal to 4 plus 2 plus 2 root 3 plus 2 root 6, which is equal to 6 plus 2 root 3 plus 2 root 6. Hence, 6 plus 2 into root 3 plus root 6 centimeter. Common 2 is outside. Common 2 is considered outside. Area of the triangle half AB into CD. Hence half into 2 plus 2 root 3 into 2 root 3. Half into 2 into 1 plus root 3 into 2 root 3. So 1 plus root 3 into 2 root 3. So 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3 into root 3 which is equal to 2 root 3 plus 2 into 3 is equal to 6 plus 2 root 3 centimeter square. In fourth question we have to multiply both number and uh, say the result is a natural number or a fraction. Let's solve. First question root 3 into root 12 that is equal to root 3 into 12 which is equal to root 36. So the result is 6 because 36 is a perfect square. Right? So product is a natural number because 6 is a whole number. Then second question root 3 into root 1.2 which is equal to root 3 into 1.2 which is equal to 3.6. The product is neither a natural number nor a fraction because 3.6 is not a perfect square. Then third question, root 5 into root 8, that is equal to root 5 into 8 which is equal to root 40. Product is neither a natural number nor a fraction because 40 is not a perfect square. Then fourth one, square root of 0 0.5 into root 8, that is equal to square root of 0 0.5 into 8 which is equal to square root of 4. Square root of 4 is equal to 2 cm because 4 is a perfect square. So the product is a natural number. Then consider last sub question. Question number 5. Square root of 7 and 1 by 2 into square root of 3 and 1 by 3. Here 7 and 1 by 2 is equal to 15 by 2 and 3 and 1 by 3 is equal to 10 by 3 when we convert it into improper fraction. So, square root of 7 and half into square root of 3 and 1 by 3 is equal to square root of 15 by 2 into 10 by 3, which is equal to square root of 150 by 6, that is equal to square root of 25, which is equal to 5, because 25 is a perfect square. Hence, the product is a natural number, right? That's all for today. Thank you.